Afro. I'm from Mom and Castle. Down like ground like gravel. Coming back around like lasso. Macro, macro. Like a vision board, I see with clarity. I hustle like my name is Gary V. Sabas, I've been telling you. Accounts was talking about equity. I'm Triple H giving a pedigree. The mean and I'm special, my specialty. I'm putting the work till I'm dirt in the earth. I'm moving furniture to Beverly. I don't think people realize how much money I'm leaving on the table mm. for humanity, mm. for my legacy, for the good stuff. You know, being an interesting human being is a, a thing. Yeah. And so like the biggest thing I think that people, the biggest downfall is lack of self-awareness. Mm. Like who wants to sit there and say, well I'm just not mm-hmm. interesting, cute, smart, clever, you know, enough. Yeah. And we all have different paths, right? Like, you know, we all have different paths. So I think the mistake is lack of self-awareness. The next biggest mistake is lack of patience. Mm. And I think that I think lack of patience manifests in a couple of places. So you have the horrible version of lack of patience, which is like somebody's completely tone deaf. Yeah. They think they're Gary V or they think they're fucking Beyonce and they're just like they're the people on American Idol who are like right. not doing it for shtick. They like literally <laughs> think that they're fucking unbelievable and then they sing and they're shit. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that, but I actually think there's another version, which is I think a lot of people that actually follow me because I kind of suffocate the other crowd out pretty quickly. There's other places to go if you want to be completely tone deaf. Yeah. Which is the people that are actually slightly empathetic mm. and they realize they're trying to be an influencer and they realize there's some baggage along with that and they're actually empathetic to what their friends are saying behind their back mm. And the problem is you don't go from zero to 100 in one day. Yeah. You have to be able to eat the shit of the voices. You have to be able to accept the voices. You have to be empathetic to your buddy mm-hmm. who's like, who the fuck do you think you are? Mm-hmm. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. You, have to be, you have to be able to do that. That's what the early pioneers of reality TV did. Mm-hmm. That's what the Kardashians did. You have to be able to, when everybody says you suck, to know that you're not. Mm-hmm. And that's hard. Yeah. Especially when you have to go a year or two or three before you actually get to the place to prove them wrong, that sucks. Yeah. And that is my gift. I love being an underdog. I hate that I'm starting to have my moment. I liked it a year ago when it was still, I knew it was coming, yeah. and a lot less people knew it was coming. Yeah. I think a lot of people are starting to know it's coming. Let's go. Intent is the North Star of this entire conversation. Yes, the intent. You don't, you don't even you don't need sound on, but like when you post it. Yep. Thank you. you no, know, for all the admiration of every like twenty-four year old that's coming my way, there's a big part of me that doesn't like it. Yeah. Because I like being underestimated. I could never sell the things I make fun of. Yeah. I feel like I'm not selling. I feel I'm documenting. Yeah. I'm aware that it's leading to things, but it feels a lot better that the people that pay me are. You know, I don't feel good selling a $9,000 course. Any industry where the majority of the winners and players are doing things that are selfish for themselves and not for their client is a vulnerable industry. That was the high-end wine business years ago. That's why I won there. That is the agency world today in marketing. That's why I'm winning there. And neither one of them combined is as bad as football agents are to their players. (laughs) I mean, it is. The part that people are fundamentally confused about me is for some reason they forgot that I spent 13 years building a humongous business and didn't say one word to anybody ever about anything. The end. I'm I'm actually a businessman. I moonlight as Gary (laughs) Vee. That's a good way to put it. That's it. Gary Vee's Batman. You know what I mean? (laughs) Kind of thing. Like, you know, like, that's, that's the confusion part about me. That's why I'm pushing the kids to build actual things and patience. If kids, knew, how old are you? 33. You know what I'm about to say. We're perfect, because I'm 41, you're 33, and they're 22. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah. Can you believe how young you feel right now? Yeah. You would have never thought that at 22. I know. The end. Got good news for you. You're gonna feel the same at 41. Love it. That's it! Love it. That's the fucking game. Headed to Yankee Stadium. Portuguese wonders here. Sweet, How are you, man? Doing great. What's going on? And then I started doing, and it, I see it works. This feels good. It's going to be cool, so I just <laughs> like some 40 hours of editing or something. 
And then I sent it, and I was like, okay, that's it. Maybe they won't reply. I don't know. Maybe they will. So, but it's done. And then it was really completely uh, above my expectations. Really. And then it was funny. There was a couple of friends of mine. They were like, so when you had the idea, what you do? You send them an email asking if you wanted to do it. And I was like, fuck no, I did it. Like I took a chance and it worked. And it's always the answer, isn't it, Tyler? Yes. More, more, more. Just do. Do. Just do. Maybe you get something. Maybe you won't. That's right. But you will get something. You know what's funny? Yeah. You probably never would have got an answer to the email. Of course. But I you, wasn't expecting. You know what I, I mean, though. Expecting. But the fact that you took the way bigger risk, you did. Obviously, you love doing it, so that makes it yeah. fun. It's always better when that's the case. Yeah. Uh, it's cool, man. So what's happened? Have people pinged you? Like, what's what's been happening? It is the, the buzz that 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 that's appeared at that time. I'm doing my own thing now. I'm, I'm, I'm a so awesome. video. I'm a I'm a D Rock or Tyler. Yep. Or Stefan. Um, in in Portugal. Right Four now. people. For yourself. Four people. I am actually both. exporting. Both. To, both. Exporting the yeah. D Rock concept. Yeah. Sorry, Tom. See, <laughs> <laughs> Overseas, I'm speaking, talking with influencers, Portuguese influencers. To tell them, I can do this for you. you. Nobody's doing it in Portugal. It isn't. Yeah. Nobody's. Do- That's so crazy. You said that yesterday. Nobody, nobody's doing what we're doing. No, nobody has a shadow. Maybe some people do vlog, but mostly like. Right. And when you vlog yourself, you have to be like. You don't have to be, but if you're like Casey, when the quality and the entertainment is there, okay. But most aren't. It's just. Somebody speaking to the camera. And, and by the way, most people aren't going to do well being shadowed either. You have to have that too. I think you, you hate. Which theory, is? Which is, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> fuck you're gonna, but right? But it is, fuck you're gonna. I, I want to build my personal brand. I want to be my own. I get it. Andy. You can do both. I can do both. No, no, but that's what yeah. I'm saying. I know that. I, I do both, right? I do marketing for myself. Yeah. And we do market, you know? I do both. In a weird way. I've been sitting by the phone. I like that you pee. Lord, no, you ain't calling because <laughs> I said this was pure. But I've been back here often, like, I don't need you really. Really, I've been checking voicemails when you leave them, then delete them. Shallow reasons, I've been reading all these headlines. I get second page, meeting all my deadlines a couple steps away. Calls, calls, calls. That's like more, more, more. The sun catch me <laughs> right in my summer home. Lift it like I'm coming Jersey home. You Jersey. told me that you uh, love it yeah, when man, I'm feel speaking really in your language to like it's close enough to touch it. Really I love how you man. invested off of second hand suggestions like it's just that. Okay, cool, cool great. Let me know. Right. I'll talk to you yeah, later. You my okay. only audience. I was going to wait until the ATM if I could get uh, 20 for two tens. 20 for two tens? Yeah. I want it from the ATM. Why? Because it's it's new. It's for a gift. Crips. I don't want it like or I just I just took a bunch of twenties out of the ATM. Is that good? No, I'm not gonna go that one. Okay, I don't I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that? No. Sometimes you just gotta go with your intuition. Around here, what I find is that I think a lot of creators go to narrow in the beginning and you're the reverse. You like throw the biggest net you can. It's always been the same. Shoot for the fucking moon. Because the stars are better than if you've shot for the clouds. Because if you shoot for the clouds, you're gonna end up on the roof. It's the words of wisdom from your Uncle Gary. <laughs> your Grandpappy Gary. Older bro Gary. I know there's some old timers watching, I got you. Your buddy Gary. In Jersey, I'm super close to Edison, New Jersey right now. Makes me happy. Feeling those Jersey vibes. Well, I don't think no more is coming. I'm a rocket like a hundred plus a hundred plus a thousand. Man, that's all I ever wanted. That's the sweetest thing I know. Yeah. Sweetest thing I've ever known. That's the sweetest thing I know. Wake up, grind all this time. One of the biggest things is managing efficiencies. One of the advantage, to your point, and I've been thinking about this, one of the advantages that Team Gary has is if you're not doing something, which is almost never, but if you're not, but but if you're not, I'll lose my shit if you're not making, make me a fucking animated GIF, motherfucker. I don't give, like, like if Steven Spielberg worked on Team Gary, I'd be like, where's my fucking Instagram story, Dick? When I volunteer, that'll get you buzzing. They gon' click it if you bait it. They keep on coming back, it's something different when it's people hatred. to be like fashion, high-low. The number one thing happening in fashion right now, 
and it's been happening for a while, yeah. is women mainly, but men too. Like like they'll wear a seventeen hundred dollar pair of jeans and a one dollar t-shirt, right? And the handbag's seven bucks, and the glasses are seventeen thousand. We we need that. That is what I have. It's not that Bab and D Rock are so special. It's that that's the religion. You're, you might make an animated movie, you might make an animated GIF, and that's that. And so as long as the animators, uh, like, as long as the animator with downtime is like, fuck it, I'll just make some, I'll make 17 animated things today, and we can put it out on social. Like, I know what to do, and I've gotta change a lot of rules, but I want you to be bought into the religion. Everybody's, you see where I'm going? We're fixing the airplane while we fly it. <laughs> it by the way, by the way, by not, by not, taking a stop in Providence, Rhode Island to fix something, and then Kansas City, Missouri, we've lapped the world 15 times while everybody's still fixing their brakes in fucking Wichita. I need to pure well now Let me speak my for a series of meetings. Uh, as a lot of you guys know, we bought PureWow, women's publishing company, modern media company. Very excited about the acquisition of the team. Ryan Harbour, the CEO, unbelievable. Mary Kay, editor-in-chief, unbelievable. Really excited about the strategies we're putting in place. Life is good there. That was a good, big purchase that is going to continue the process of winning. I like winning. There's always a yin and a yang. The great promise of the world that I saw isn't gonna happen because people don't have the self-esteem to put themselves out there to have a real conversation. That's how you're on the same team. He needs to be part of and and the end world and that's that team. Yeah. Um, We're also gonna produce a lot more content. I've got something weirdly figured out. We can't lose twice. If we're gonna put people in these slots, the output has to show it. Like there's a way, like I really, there's something I'm seeing that I'm excited about. Like let's just produce a shitload more content. And how do we get paid for it? Of course, of course. Right. If we produce it, well, we'll get I know what I'm, like well, yeah, we, right now we're losing on both fronts. I define it as emotional intelligence, uh, self-awareness, empathy, gratitude are, are absolutely the three things that emerge immediately to me when I think about them. Uh, and I think it manifests in, in the environment and the workplace more than people realize. I think it's the game. Honestly, I think it's the whole thing. I, mean, I just think it's the whole thing in life, let alone fucking work. So, I mean, if you're empath, so I think it's why I'm able to be me. If I wasn't empathetic, people that troll me and don't believe in me and think I'm the bad version of the good version that I am would have stopped me from doing. I love how you invested off a second hand. Just had two great meetings with the Pure Wow team on two major different objectives. Now we're gonna have dinner uh, together as a team, continue to bond. When you make these integrations, you have to massively over-index in the beginning of any important integration. When you buy a, a company of the size of Pure Wow, which is a sizable business, the biggest business I've ever bought, you gotta triple down and so you gotta do 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. dinners and you gotta do them often and early and with passion and focus and so uh, time to put the beanie on because that's when I get serious. Uh, good day, just fucking doing it, you know? Guys, doing it and like love you for your comments, enjoy it and uh, I love you guys back. When I say I'm an anomaly, I can, I'm empathetic to what people may think about that, but to me it's a bigger sense of responsibility to make sure that people that are looking at me don't become crippled or try to replicate it if they don't have, I mean I have natural energy out my ass. Pure passion for what you do. Pure fucking passion, man. Just really, just, just knew how it was gonna play out, you know? Yeah, that's the nicest way to say it, yeah. It ain't tricking if you made it. I'm just on my phone, checking metrics from my followers on baby number two, taking wifey to her follow-ups. This is